Hey guys, Nerf Mob Book Productions here. I had to restart the video because I had to do something and I don't like getting mad in my videos. Alright. This review. Um, it's about the long shot, of course, and it's, this one's also modified. You got the front gun. Um, so what I did to this one, let's take out the air restrictor. Um, I didn't plug the breech wall this time. I thought it's gonna take forever and I don't have a lot of GB weld left. Put tape under the O-ring to increase power and I also um, did the spring upgrade. Yes, spring upgrade. I added a stronger spring in there. It's not as strong as the last one I had because it broke the other one I had. Bolt slides just fine for now, and that's the way I want to keep it. This one wouldn't fire that well. It would just go, like, pretend it goes all the way back. It would just slide all the way back. It would just go, If you cannot visualize that, that's exactly what it was. It was so annoying. But it turns out there was a dart stuck in the internals, which was weird, I guess. But wasn't that bad. Well, now you got... Front gun, which I also got with it, and I'm gonna do a review on a gun, a Nerf gun tomorrow. This one also has functional bipods. It did not come with a scope or um, a magazine, which I still have the one of my original yellow ones. That's pretty cool. There, end up like that. Which, um, this shoots pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best long shot I've ever fired. Modified, but it's okay. I mean, it's pretty good compared to default, especially when it couldn't fire much at first. But this one, this front gun shoots a lot better than my modified one. Which you can tell because in the, in the, in the last one, it's got the pieces right here, the barreling. Alright, I've already loaded up the mag from the last video since... Uh, I got a little upset and I just wanted to redo it. So there's six super darts in here, which I did the mod to where it can accept any dart, which was cutting down something a little bit. This one I can also do the top load or the bottom load without a magazine. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. This thing's actually pretty heavy with everything on it. And the locks, of course, have been removed. So yeah, you just saw that, that was no magic. <laughs> Also, you've got the stock, which was pretty good condition. And I forgot to put in two screws in the front. You know which screws those are? Those are pain. Oh, this one works great now. Ooh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Um, hate when it does this. Uh, I hope you guys heard that. That was powerful. Woo! I have to take up this dart, and they'll probably just fire five. Uh, there we go. Sounds about as loud as the last one. I'd say, anyway. The bolt lock, the catch, whatever's, um, it's got a weaker spring than the last one, because like I said, the other one, the bolt slide snapped on me. So, I should have followed Coop's tutorial on how to reinforce it. So that, it wouldn't have broken. And now, since I don't have a long shot scope, and if you're wondering what happened to that, I gave it away to my, one of my mom's friend's kids, and they really like it, but they miss it, of course. So, I've got a couple of scopes to choose from, actually. So, we've got the ELO scope, as I call it, since it's got that little fancy, Nancy, whatever, and it clicks on to a notch in the thing, whatever you want to call it, and hooks up like that. I can get it in, of course. Yeah, so now you got an ELO scope on a sniper rifle. Yeah. Or you could use the um, element scope, which is probably my favorite by far. It sticks on pretty tight, and it looks, still looks like a sniper rifle. It's pretty cool, but except it gets stuck. It's like a nice seal right there. I don't know what happened to make it that well. Or you got the Vigilant Scope, or whatever this is called. Where it lights up, and it's pretty cool scope and all. It's not my favorite, but I like it. 
In a way. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. You know, usually I don't take long explaining mods. Plus I just fire the nerf gun afterwards. So yeah, that's it. I'll even fire the front gun for you guys, even though you obviously know what that's like. And I like the style of it. It's cooler than the last one I had. The other one had like a yellow barrel, so it's not one Yeah, that's pretty much it. And, um, yeah, that's, that's it for this video. Uh, sorry if I'm getting a little annoying with these uh, long shot videos. Sorry if I'm annoying in general. Just the way I am, I guess. I can be annoying to certain people. Ah, oh, man. I was even trying to do a mod guide on the long shot, but I kept on messing it up and I was forgetting what to do at certain points, so I just thought I don't want to look like a loser, so I just put it away. Or I finished it without the camera on. Alright, so um that's pretty much it. Here's my arsenal again, in case you watch my other video, which is an arsenal update. Alright, so that's it.